well, it's looking like my lowest level fun type quest is the uh, main story. We're gonna meet Yennefer and Hindersfjall. Sure. Okay. The Ermian was incensed. No druidic pun intended. It must be druid humor. I don't know. At Yennefer and Geralt's theft and desecration of an ancient artifact, he was willing to put his anger aside to help them find Ciri. He told them of the hunt's recent destruction of the village of Lofoten. Geralt and Yennefer knew it once. It could, once it could not have been a chance attack. Ciri... They went and looked for her. Okay, yeah. Let's do that. We made it. Hey, Yennefer! What, hold on. I saw a plant I've never put before. Let me grab that real quick. Some horn root. Okay, I'm done. Let's go. Greetings, Yen. Good thing you're here. The frostbite was starting to set in. Well, maybe you should have put on a jacket, you big dummy. You should have dressed warmer. <laughs> Next, you'll be pinning mittens to my coat. Can we go? Yeah. Quite a few years since I was last on Hindisfjall, but if I remember correctly, Lofoten should be this way. Lead the way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. True dad. Follow Yennefer to Lafoten. What do you suppose is going on here? What killed all these folk? Probably some kind of monster, right? Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So. And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. They... Should we mention the Wild Hunt? We should probably not mention the Wild Hunt. But we should probably ask anyway. They say the Wild Hunt destroyed this village. That is true. Though few believe us. You don't either, I'm sure. No, I Did totally you see believe riders you. on skeleton horses? Wearing frost-covered armor? Aye, that's how it was. They landed on our shores in a ship made of the claws of dead men, like in the ballads. Leif yelled to grab the children. Then they came, cut him across his face. He tried to whisper. Only blood came out. You were to ask about someone, not prod their wounds. That's enough. What happened then? Uh, go on. Go on. I ran out to get help, to get Leif. But so many bodies. Yole, Ingvar, little Neki. Which way did the riders go? Towards the sea, through the ravine, on horses made of bones. Bones and ice and... Enough! Get to the point. Now. We're looking for an ashen-haired young lady. We're looking for a young woman, name of Ciri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I've buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Ciri, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes. Yes, yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. What was Siri doing here? Remember anything else? Anything at all? Only that she seemed tired. Very tired. And, and her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. Uh... I'm sorry, Scar Craven. What? My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. Who that? This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? 
He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvarg. Morkvarg? What? Cowards you don't usually fight. Yeah. Hold on, he ran from a monster, then you sent him to fight a monster? Or he went to go fight a monster? What's up with that? A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor. And his name. Trial by ordeal. Very skeleton. I do not mock your lores. Please also respect ours. Very well. Uh, who's this Morkvarg? Morkvarg? What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skellige. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm hmm know the type. They said he feared only one thing, the wrath of the gods. Morkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindisfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him, and Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. Sounds like it. I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, yet he always returns. What? So, it's a complex curse. Meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Okay, where's the garden? Where is this holy garden? Not far from here, north. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Okay, thank you, ladies. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. Yes, ma'am. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Yes, we do, Totsies. Okay. We are off to look for Craven. And Yennefer's probably going to talk at us pretty soon, right? It's usually how these things work when we're traveling with another person. This trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? I suppose not. You are quite crass sometimes, Jennifer, but, you know, that's fine. You're very to the point. <laughs> Let's see. It seems we're about to our destination. My, no, my. Right here. That must be more. More far. What? A bite. Just one morsel. Was it werewolf? One yep. piece, a crumb, uh, uh, food, uh, food. Uh. Hello. <coughs> Shank, not not again, not again. Do we need to censor yeah. that? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, guess not. Maybe. Search for he doesn't some. seem happy to see us. No. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. Sure. All right. Uh, we so, are looking for signs where we of start? Raven. Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess. 
Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Very true. Oh, here we are. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Planned to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Okay. Thanks, Yen. You're swell. Fine. See you later, then. Don't get hurt. Remember, I need you if I'm to find Siri. <laughs> just a means to an end, am I? Oh, come. I? I was just teasing. Fool. I need you. Period. Better? Yes. <sighs> Better. Ah, she acts like a jerk, but she's real nice. Okay, let's see. What are we doing? Following tracks. Doing Witcher stuff. Let's look at this. Craven's blood. Flowing profusely. Trails clear. Should lead me to him. Yes, indeed. And... Is there anything worth looking at here? This route? Hold on, I see an examined thing. Something down there. Can't see a thing. Like, below the tree? Something down there. Can't see a thing. <laughs> Light prints. Craven trod carefully. Yes, there's a fucking werewolf over there. I don't blame him. And I heard this guy we're calling Craven is a bit of a coward. So, you know, he might be a little scared at this point. Which, again, I don't really blame him for. Hi, puppy. What's up? There we go. Dead puppy. Yes, and there's wolves around here too, I've heard. It's not great. Oh. You think we found him? No bite marks. Morkfark doesn't eat his victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dulled. Dude. <laughs> also, you're a bit of a low talker, Jerry. It's gotta be said. Like... He, you're probably accustomed to talking witchers all the time, so you use your super inside voice. Monster tracks. Running. Just saying. Chasing something. I don't like Graven. Okay. Uh, don't worry, Yen. Everything's fine so Looks far. Like don't worry about me. Sneaking around. Oh shit. Puppy. Attacked. Think by wolves? Seems to be a lot of fucking wolves around here, man. Damn it. Ow. Dick. Force me to eat some grapes. I'm gonna eat some grapes just because I want to. <laughs> I don't really need to. I got a wolf's liver. Oh boy. Some dog tower. Even oh was boy. injured. Started running. Okay. Running. Craven's blood. He got bit by something. Or tagged or whatever. More blood. Craven's blood. Indeed. Okay. And he went up here. Through the door. Door Maybe. won't budge. Craven must have blocked it. Or it's just locked. Gotta go round. Gotta go round? What the bots? This way to go? Morkvark doesn't give up easily. Indeed, indeed. So can I blast this bitch open or does it just open on its own? Nope. Locked. Okay. Finding our way around. We go up here, right? Cool. Hey, Yen, do you need an update? Hey, Yen. Update time. Well, what is it? I just wanted to say hi, and uh, what do you know about this place? What do you know about this garden? Let me think. That it's dreadfully overgrown? Had its history in mind. They say Freya herself planted it. When the world was young, the goddess strode across Skellige, sowing seeds among the rocks. But Erberos the snake bit a hole in her basket. All her seeds poured from it and landed here. Thus, this garden is bounteous, while the rest of Skellige is barren. You believe that? Is that a serious question? Of course not. Favorable microclimate for plant life. End of story. All right. Yen's a lady of science. It seemed uh, someone transformed to a werewolf. It's a dog's life. Yuck, 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 yuck. To transform into a werewolf. 
It's a dog's life, huh? Well, there's not a youth out there who doesn't have a wolf in his belly. Then the curse confined him to this garden? Couldn't really cut his wolf loose. No question he was top dog here. Just wolfing things down, or not. Geralt, that's enough. You two hmm? are fucking Fine. adorable. Still had a few good ones at the tip of my tongue. I'm sure you did. We'll say you won. Is this the shit they teach you in the wolf school, Jerry? Stupid dog jokes? God damn it. I found a corpse. Not Craven's, though. Uh-huh. And you thought I'd find this interesting because... Because... No bite marks on it. Doesn't seem strange to you. Zeracanian cuisine, dandelion's fame, and shoes with curly toes seem strange to me, yet I don't discuss them with you. Reading between the lines here, think I'm wasting your time? I mean merely that we should focus on what's most important at the moment. All I can think of is unicorns. Okay, see ya. All right, going back down. Be careful. All right, thanks, Yen. God, these two are so fucking adorable. It makes me want to vomit a little bit. I'm gonna go in here. Hey, there's blood on the floor. What's up with that? Hey, Jerry, there's blood on the floor. You see that with your witcher senses? There's blood there. Whatever. Fuck off, Jerry. You don't know. Yet another locked door. What is with this place? Another locked door. This is starting to make me mad. Very well. I'll just use my witcher GPS, I guess. Or not. Where is my GPS taking me? Okay. We clearly need to investigate. Oh, wait. Here we go. I think I figured it out. No, I didn't. I'll figure it out. Don't worry. Uh, you have to go the opposite way. I get it. I think I get it. Oh, we have to follow the puppy. Right. Morkvarg. That's what they call him. So, we could kill this guy right now, but he wouldn't stay dead. I have, y you get it? Sort of. Right? Because people have killed him before, but it didn't quite take. Another corpse. No bite marks here either. Why aren't these... This is a place filled with wolves and werewolves. Why are people not dying of werewolf-type injuries? This has weirded me out, man! Okay. Let's pick some flowers. Jerry, pick the flowers! Quit being... Fucking... Guy! Pick the flowers! Okay. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Okay, we're hot on the trail, friends. Back in business. Can't cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. Are you giving me a puzzle game? I'm just gonna hit button so I figure it out. Sluice gate, open! Sluice gate, open! I did it! I think. I'm gonna hit this thing again. Sluice gate, activate! Oh, I get it now. One lever opens it, one lever closes it. Got it. Wait, oh. Right. Maybe I don't get it. I don't understand anything anymore. Just go, Jerry. Wait, no. No, I had it right. The puzzles are hard. <laughs> okay, I got it. Don't worry. We have to actually... Eat, Jerry. We have to open the other sluice gate. Right. I don't even know what sluice means, to be perfectly honest. I have never heard that word until today. Okay, sluice gate! Activate! The gate's open, but nothing's happening. What? Open! Activate! <laughs> I figure if I yell activate enough, stuff will happen. What's happening now? <laughs> I don't even know what's happening anymore! Hitting buttons isn't working! There we go. Okay. Let's just go this way. <laughs> Something will happen. <laughs> Fucking puzzles and games are the worst, right? Okay. What are we looking for, Jerry? Wish your senses? I don't the same thing? No, not particularly. It is, uh, giving me where to go, though, so that's all I can really ask for. Alright! We're in the place we're supposed to be, I think. This place is fancy. It's a shame no one can go here anymore because of the fucking werewolf. Be a nice place to, you know, take someone on a date or something. I, guess. I don't know. Fuck. 
Oh, cave. I see. Prints lead to the well. Guess Craven didn't want to be eaten. Preferred to drown. Uh, yeah. I'd Root. Speak back. Right again. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt, you scared me. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. Jerry, get, get, up, get up there. Thank you. Okay, we can use some cat. Cat? Good time for cat. Okay, that's a good potion to have. I need to get some advanced cat. Because, uh, you know, it's good. Key to Freya's garden. Anna Fantastic. Freya's no signs of violence. Must have died of hunger a while ago. That's Must have hid here when Morkvarg raided the garden. A key could come in handy. Indeed. Waited a long time for death to come. That'd be a shit way to go out, man. Oh, shit, there's another guy. Think this is him? Damn. Dead. Has been for a while. Yen, found him. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Why? Uh, you have a plan? Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. You're being sarcastic, we'll aren't you? you? Here, all right? That's Yen. Charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. I got a Spikaroog longsword. Great. Oof. Putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. What are you gonna do? Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk. Even a corpse. One must simply know how. Are you a necromancer? Is strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Are you saying you want to get hitched? What? What? That, never mind. Um, I'm not gonna say black magic's no joke because uh, I don't know. It's fine. I don't Reading care what you do. for the spell. Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. I'm on it. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? Wait! I, I thought you were saying. being serious I'm that a time. Sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. All the more reason to get it over with before they realize what's happening. I like the way you think. Let's get to work. Selene, Selene, Dufresne. Selene, Selene, Davidar. 